Hey there guys, Green Thumb here. So, I've been trying to figure out a video to do for you guys, and it's been a while since I posted anything, but I realize I post a lot about the palm trees. I post constantly about the palm trees, but I don't post about anything I have in the ground. So, today we're going to take a look a little bit in the rainforest section here of the garden. Uh, just because, well, why not? Why not? So, this here is a banana. It is known as the, let's see here. Zabrina Raiju. So, yeah, I call it that because it gets these red stripes. Kind of reminds me of the, uh cold hardy uh musa baju that has little red stripes in them and yeah i did clean the garden up a bit so and then this here is my cane grass done really well in fact a little too well i might have to um cut it back again which i've done cut the stalks but i might have to cut those rhizomes back because uh well it's getting a little too tall for its own good and uh, I noticed the green seems to grow faster in the garden than uh, variegated variants, which this is the common variant here, which you don't see people grow too much of, is the green variant. So, but I've seen the green variant here in my location with two different houses. Um, Boston Fern is surprisingly doing really well here. Um, considering the factor that it's taken quite a bit of sun, but, uh, it's doing really well. Then my giant canna lily is, uh, hardy here, but I might dig this particular specimen up because it's not really in a cold hardy zone. I mean, it is, it's supposed to be hardy to a zone six, but I mean, it gets pretty cold back here. But, I don't know. Then again, if the Cordyline Australis right here survived, then maybe he will survive too. So, I might just leave him in the ground and see how he does. Anything, I can get a new one next year. Then this here is, of course, the Cordyline Australis. Done really well. It's actually... Sorry, guys. Lots of uh, traffic today. But, uh, it's done really well. And uh, it's continuing to grow, so let's hope we can get through a, another season, because my goal is, is for it to uh, eventually trunk. And then this here is my Lemon Gum Eucalyptus. Uh, it's done okay. It hasn't grown like it should. Um, hopefully it gets taller, because the plan was to have this as a tree that kind of just shades out the um, Boston fern there. So that way it's kind of a more naturalized habitat, but it has not done that. But uh, hopefully it gets bigger soon because we're almost at our end of the growing season. And then here we have the swamp hibiscus. Got a beautiful bloom on it today. Oh man, that's just perfect. Can't ask for a better bloom. There's always something blooming in the garden. But, uh, yeah, doing really good. Right up against the hosta. Doing uh, really well. The hosta done bloomed, and uh, it's doing okay here. But, yeah. The uh, hibiscus is doing good. It is just a cultivar of the swamp hibiscus that is native here and a little bit up into Canada and a little bit into Indiana. Uh, but it is native to America. And then the Rhododendron, it bloomed and it grew a bit. And uh, had some branches out here, but of course I get out and through here, so those kind of broke off. In fact, I might even trim it up during the winter time to show you guys how to do that, so that way it becomes a nice, kind of tall, kind of tree. It's kind of getting a little woody stem down there. But it's doing good, surprisingly, even though it's uh, in our alkaline soil. But because uh, they normally, yeah, sorry, they normally like it acetic. But you know, hosta's done okay, and I moved that guy. Cane grass, as I said, it's done really well. It's actually grown really tall. I would have way more stalks, but I keep cutting them back. 
because of the simple fact that uh, they just kind of outgrow everything here. So I got to create competition and have room for everything else to grow. Then these are my caster bean. We got a red one in there and we got a normal green one in there. We got two of them. They grew really fast. Um, hopefully they grow um, quick enough so that way I can gain um, seed from them. Because again, already almost at our growing season. We have until October really. And then my red canna lilies doing really well. Even though they are in shade, they have done really well and have stayed really red. And then right here is my native fern, which has done poorly this year. And then right here is my lemongrass, which is also trying to outcompete um, other plants, which is what we want in a kind of a natural rainforest setting is plants to compete against each other. And then my popcorn plant, I kind of had to stake up because, well, it just started leaning. But uh, it's done really well here. It gave out some weird leaves. Now it looks like it's giving out normal leaves again. I don't know. Maybe it was just too much water. In fact, I probably should water it again. And then my fern down there, it's not looking the best, but uh, is what it is. Sometimes we lose things and we gain things. But it was my crocodile fern, and it's just, yeah. But hey, popcorn plant's doing well. It has yet to give me any flowers. Hopefully it gives me flowers soon, because again... We are pretty much at the end of our, well, almost at the end of our growing season. Um, I want to say we're completely to the end of our growing season. Really, we have until the end. Well, not really the end, but maybe a little bit into the middle of October nowadays. But yeah, everything's looking good, looking healthy. Popcorn plant looking flawless. It's kind of trying to outgrow this long lemon grass. Again, had to uh, stake it up just because it was flopping everywhere. It has yet to develop a, uh, a woody stem. But yeah, this is a little rainforest section of the garden. That I guess over here we could talk about some plants. This is just a volunteer tree. This is some more um, Spanish moss I threw out there. Just because, uh, why not? That's some variegated grass down there. Native, um, native ostrich fern I decided to plant there. And some iris, papyrus, and a few others. Which I need to weed eat that part too, along with all the others. But, yeah, anyways, as always guys... Keep it real and keep it tropical.